From the Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet presents Houston Rockets basketball. As tonight, the 5-16 Rockets, now winners of four in a row, begin a four-game homestand against the 5-18 Orlando Magic. Good evening and welcome to our Cover the Rockets basketball right here on AT&T Sportsnet with Ryan Hollins and shortly Kaylee Griffin. I am Craig Ackerman. Because of injuries, Kevin Porter Jr. and Christian Wood combined to play just 22 minutes in Oklahoma City, but all that did was set the stage for an historic night from Jay Sean Tate. You see the numbers from Jay Sean at OKC, 32 points, a career high, 10 rebounds, seven assists, a career best five blocks, two steals. Ryan, one of just eight players all time with those numbers in a single game. Yeah, by far the best game that Jay Sean Tate has ever played as a professional. He looked like a young Charles Barkley here, getting busy in the paint. He knocked down threes. Listen. Jay Sean Tate did any and everything, and most of all, Craig, I'm going to tell you one thing. He had a will to win. He literally willed the team all through injuries, through, you know, missed shots. It was one of the more grittier and tougher performances that I've ever seen. The Orlando Magic, they've had their fair share of injuries this season as well. Cole Anthony just returned from one himself in their last game against Denver as he led Orlando to this their first win in their last eight games. Listen, man, Cole Anthony has come into his own. He's kind of played through injuries, but he's been really the catalyst for Coach Jamal Mosley, and he does a lot of his work in the pick and rolls, and he's improved with his pace. You know, for a smaller guard, he can get into the lane and finish it amongst the best of them. So Cole Anthony growing up, right before our eyes. Coming up, Kaylee will shine the spotlight on Armani Brooks as we wind our way towards tip-off tonight between the Rockets and the Magic right here on AT&T Sportsnet.